Have fun, good luck. Then why uh, when it's my time? Okay. Pick uh, for wallet. Let's watch the final between these two players. Zira L is a great player and a smart player and he got a bad matchup. It is Dwarves. What do you think about the Dwarves, Urbi? And Sizingard? It's very bad. Ooh. For Zira L. Hard matchup. Yeah, it is hard. Indeed. Dwarves, uh, especially if how we, how we start with Wildman. Actually, he started with very early Uruk pet to probably creep Warglair because how we, how we love to creep is in love with the creep and Zera I'll start is probably gonna be four tunnels and one uh, battle wagon uh, barracks and one guardians barracks and this is what he's doing Zera is uh, you can read him so easily he always does that and uh how we how he's gonna recruit one Urukai pikeman plan sorry i was uh, cutting the grass uh okay obtain we wanted to play some good games uh more observers than viewers no? yeah but the game is not laggy it's going good so uh what do you think about the start uh, urbi as uh, the Urukai pikeman to creep it's good because um, it's like that uh, Z rail is going for G works. Yeah. That's the weapons. Yeah. But there's not gonna be any rush into the base. Concrete. Yeah, he's not gonna rush the base of how we have it room. But uh, still, uh, Zerail is not gonna use the forge work, only he is going at the same time for the Hall of Warriors. So very early guardian with their leadership uh, from the battle wagon. They can, I think, kill guardians and uh, I mean Orokai Pikeman and Orokai Swordman. Oh uh, yep. I have time. Oh, Sh Shanks wants to join us. Uh, are you? Yeah, I'm gonna send you the. I'm I'm gonna send you the uh, Shanks uh, the link for. Zera L. Uh, he's, he's gonna creep the second one. Zera L. Uh, it's called Radman. Zera L. Radman. Uh, on Discord, I'm gonna. Okay, Shanks. Of the hub, I will make a strong push. Strong push? Very, very strong unit to the start with working. Yeah very tanky units is making a uh, crossbow with Swor uh, Urukai swordman and Urukai pikeman and he's getting money from the creep for those units is really amazing to do that battle wagon cannot trample this stuff uh, battle wagon cannot trample this stuff very bad start for zero Thanks, I sent you the link. Uh, all right. You, you see, this axe thrower from the battle wagon are targeting the pikemen, so maybe he can trample uh, a guardians after. There is creeping the northern troll, and now how is going for the second uruk pet. With the Uruk, uh, oh shit, there are three, uh, four guys in the battalion of uh, pikemen, but they are more than enough to protect because they are rally called and they deal more damage to the battle wagon if it tramples them. Guardians is spam. Terael, the Russian player, is on fire. He's, he has been playing so much, uh, so many games, and he reached the final. Uh, in this tournament he sometimes plays serious <coughs> and sometimes just for fun and when he plays serious he's like very very active and he tries very hard 
and uh, the difference between Zera L and Mr. Smoke is that Mr. Smoke makes uh, wrong decisions in game uh, just to spam while Zera L makes uh, very smart decisions uh, close to the decisions of Solas. There is nothing. Have you played with Solas, uh, Irby? Um, like two years ago, I think. Yeah, I uh, I think any pro player who plays with Solas is gonna get like uh, one win for the maximum. He's just great with micro and macro and everything. Oh, yeah, and calculating. Oh, look at the battle wagon from Zera. Crossbow don't deal much damage on the battle wagon. Actually, uh, all Isengard archers. I think. Uh, if you want to destroy the battle wagon, you need heroes, archer heroes like Haldir or maybe Legolas or uh, Faramir. But the uh, Isengard have only lords. And if he, if Zerael spams battle wagons, like four battalions only, he had so far uh, archery range and forge work and hall of warriors. We can get all kind of units. Uh, let me check the uh, command point for each player. Zerael has 450 command point and rally call with 5 uh, power point a Russian uh, Awihau is a Turkish player has four, 500 command point he has 1300 maybe he's saving for lords but I doubt it because Awihau doesn't yeah he, he went for lords actually it was very weird decision because he doesn't he doesn't get oh shit battle wagon killed the builder while retreating the bat as uh, the phalanx from the phalanx from the battle wagon, the two guys in the battalion, they killed the builder from behind because the builder was behind the battle wagon. And hobbits we can see from the end uh, are being recruited from the player Zeral. Zeral is on uh, on fire. He's trying hard. Uh, are we how we managed to get 10 power points uh, for the devastation? And that's gonna give him about 2,000 resources. Uh, gave him 2,000 resources. Uh, okay, no, no, no. This is not the right time. Not the right time for this, thanks. Whip is gonna take forever. Where there's a whip, there's a way. Where there's a whip, there's a Where there's a whip? There is a way I can continue singing. Uh, heal was uh, done from the player Zerael on top of the battle wagon. But yeah. You see Lurtz is sniping the battle wagon. He's here somewhere. I heard him. That Lurtz. He sniped the battle wagon. And now he's, he got level from uh, killing, sniping the battle wagon. And he has uh, this guy. Uh, Lurtz. With his ability Carnage, 25% armor, 100% damage, killing the Axos. Terra L has 650 command point. More units being spammed, no transition into Man of Dale. Uh, he's playing with the Battle Wagon. Look at the Battle Wagon, Irby. It has minus 0 HP, minus 1 HP. Can be repaired at the Forge Work level 2. I used to sell the battle wagon with one HP leadership, uh, with one HP, uh, he, uh, with one HP. Because, Hello? Oh shit, yeah, uh, I can hear you now, hear me. I, I was saying that the battle wagon, uh, before, uh, th th they make a f forge work, uh, level two, uh, repair the battle wagon. I used to sell the battle wagon with one HP. So it doesn't level up the enemy units when the, when it dies, because it dies for against anything. King Brand now from the player, um, um, a Russian player Zerael. The uh, devastation is really powerful. Uh, if there is Grimo Wormtong, there's some Urukai. He level up himself when he destroys buildings. I think the battle wagon were uh, too much. They were produced to... Oh, whoa. Oh. Yeah, nice micro from Zerael. What the heck is this? Holy guacamole, let's see. Yeah, yeah, he, he microed that well. 
And the, now the Guardian can beat the Phalanx, but there is a Grim Wompong who can beat the Phalanx. Uh, there is Crossbow is still alive. He can revive the whole battalion. And King Brand is still shooting with his clamshell. Oh, never mind. He still doesn't have it. You know the Revealer can uh, reveal Grim Wompong if uh, the Battle Wagon gets closer to the to Grim Wompong. Can reveal him and keep attacking him. Uh, how he how we has uh, yeah. 7 power point after devastation. Alright. A bit summon for Zira. Yeah. Oh, Builder from our is gonna be destroyed. Let me check. Uh, got the Hobbit, uh, the Russian player, Israel. He has Hobbit. He has Hobbit. Alright. Uh, and he's now upgrading both of his barracks, and Zira is planning to go for Zilos. He has this kind of unit. Uh, phalanx axe throwers, but he wants something stronger. And he's buying, uh, he's gonna buy Zealots very soon from the uh, Hall of Warriors. And he can uh, buy Men of Dale to defend him. Howie Howie has Berserkers. Grim Wormtong is here, should be careful. The escape is not gonna help him, he forgot him. Howie Howie forgot that guy, Grim Wormtong. And now. Like zero for a push. You mean I think this is gonna be very hard to hold. You mean the push from uh, from Awi Awi? Maybe Zera can summon the Hobbit and defend with I know. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. You were talking about this push from Zera. Uh, yeah, this one. Yeah, it's a huge uh, army from Zera. With hobbits, uh, we have is upgrading his uh, Balisa expansion around the fortress, but it can be easily destroyed. With Balisa expansion, he's killing the uh, hobbits with crossbow. Ooh. Battle wagons are. He has heal for the battle wagon, and he used it. They killed all of the crossbow. He killed mm. every crossbow guy in the battalion with his. Earth is. He might die to King Brand if King Brand is uh, sniping him. Wait, is the fortress of Awe Howe gonna be taken down? No. Oh, how does noises on the other side? And a phone call. Oh shit! You have. You have. May let Chang join the voice chat. Cast. Yes, yes. Oh shit! I'm gonna close the, uh, with Urbi. He has uh, very bad noises from his side. Ooh, I, I, it was very, very loud. Okay. So yeah, Zerael is doing great, a great uh, damage here. While he's defending with Zeloth and Men of Dale, his base. Oh shit, what kind of play style from Zerael, guys? What kind of gameplay is that? Zerael is on fire, guys. Zerael is on fire. Awe Howe has Wildman Summon. But what can Wildman Summon do? Uh, Awe Howe is spamming buildings in the base of Awe Howe, and Zeloth are the best in destroying buildings. Alright, Men of Dale can easily defend every harassment of the of the Orokai. If a Gloin was here, he could have taken care of the fortress. Wildman uh, summon, alright. Uh, Awe Howe is planning to deal some damage with the summon of the Wildman and War Chanted. With uh, Orokai, Pikeman and Crossbow. Grimo Wormtong is back. He wants to have his retribution. Okay. I don't understand why Zerel is not defending here. A friend, come three minutes. Uh, friend, come three minutes. I don't understand. Uh, Urban, you'll be loud. Uh, you can now. Uh, right. Be right back. Okay, okay, okay. Has three minutes. He needs loud break from uh, Zerel. The Dwarven player. 
to stun every unit on the map and it can heal some of the uh, even the berserker got stunned and the fortress is not yet destroyed from the player Awi Howie. Uh, but it has 50% of his it's this building in is captured from the rail 600 command point for Awi Howie. Uh, he needs Zealoth, guys. Uh, I mean, that Rook High Deathbringers to compete with Zealoths. If he doesn't buy, uh, if he doesn't buy Zealoth, uh, I mean, Deathbringers, he cannot be Dwarven Zealoths. 600 command point for Awi Howie. While Zerael has 450 command, actually 500 command point. But he has, uh, but Zerael has better uh, unit. Better units, they're called Zilas on the field. Sharku from Awi Howie now. Hmm, Awi Howie he has. Uh, hey, okay. I want to check what we have here. Only two Uruka high from Awi Howie doesn't want to buy better units. And uh, Grim Wormtong is here, disappeared with the escape from Awe Howe. You know, the heal, a battle wagon, a revealer can reveal that uh, Grim Wormtong. Sharku is here. Sharku are the archers. Is Sharku weak against arrows like he, like uh, the war riders? It looks like Sharku is weak against arrows. And Zilat are gonna throw their axe. And they killed him. They killed Sharku with the yellow t-shirt. And Aoi Howie is now going for the work pack or the work riders. A big push uh, in the middle. But it's so cool that the Russian player is using his um, Men of Dale and uh, Zealot very efficiently. Men of Dale can shoot the pikemen here. And once they do that, the battle wagon is going to trample everything. Okay, nice trample from the, uh, the rail. Now, um, th this battle wagon might de get destroyed. He doesn't have a heal to heal it. Grim Wormtong Poison King Brand. Poison King Brand. Battle wagon is... Whoa, you see the control of the rail, guys? He retreated King Brand to enter the uh, tunnel. Uh, so, oh, he was poisoned, but when he enters the poison, the poison disappears. The dwarves are upon you from Axis Row. Just one battalion of Zealots. He didn't buy the three battalions as there are All right. They're so good, guys. These berserkers are so good. They have their berserkers gang. This is like Gimli's ability, uh, gives them 50% damage and they can take the fortress down. Battle wagon was, was on low health. Uh, there are, now you can. He got crippled. Is he gonna kill King Brand? Uh, first, is he gonna kill King Brand? But the hobbits are here to help uh, him. And Lurz might die, guys. Lurz might die. Hobbits killed Lurz. Hobbits killed Lurz. But King Brand also died. Axe throw. Zera loves, loves the axe throw from him. Okay. You want to join us? Oh, hold on a sec. Right, right. Fuck. Damn it, I'm calling you Shanks. It doesn't seem... If you... I'm gonna call Urban Ruby. Oh, cannot direct message. Can't send. What do we have here? Let's go back to the game. Whoa, he saved the last Berserker uh, guy. He's level 5. He shouldn't lose this uh, Zealot. Uh, he's gonna heal him. He can heal up this Zealot. Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna call you. 
I was trying to call Shanks, cast the game. Guys, the firebird killing machine. I'm trying, but there's our. Like, hold on a second, Shanks. Where is Yurbi? Let me call him. Hopefully, no more noise. Add some very loud noise from the sides, Yurbi. Yurbi, uh, um, you're back. So, okay. Let me just uh, focus now on the game. Terra L has uh, almost 25 power points. Can buy the uh, earthquake or maybe um, yeah. Oh, look at this! Look at this placement. Men of Dale inside the demolisher. It's great because you prevent from uh, the sample from uh, the war riders. Everyone is getting out and the cloud break from their eye. Gr Grimo Wompon got killed by the archers. War gliders are also getting killed. And uh, King Brand is about to get level uh, 7. End of Dale are gonna finish this uh, pikeman. Tower from Terrael. Welcome back, Ruby. And Thank you, my friend. And he got. Lurts once again, Aoi Howie. He got Lurts back. Aoi Howie went for the fuel of fire, but he doesn't have any lumber mill uh, on the field. He doesn't have any lumber mill. I like how Aoi uh, Zerael uh, is using a man of Dale uh, against. The oh, Black Arrow was used from King Brand against Lurts, but this one is very efficient with. Oh shit! Look at that! That was very, very fantastic from... Uh, did you see what he did, guys? He switched to him. Earthquake. And Aoi Howe is calling it good game. Zera is calling it good game. Was very, okay. very fast. Yeah. Hello, Nolo Finwi. First game in final. Was done. May you are so. Uh, do you want to join us, uh, Shanks, in the second game? I thought you wanted to... Um, uh, I thought Shanks wanted to... Um, never mind. Uh, wanted to join. Okay, I can't uh, add uh, to our uh, voice uh, call because he's not friend on this. Yeah, he, he strategically places his buildings to maximize the efficiency. True. No one else he does that as much. He does map control. You're right. Better than anyone, but map control alone isn't gonna help in the game. 
Uh, for example, he did this strategy against Solas, and Solas was still winning him from one side, while King Mustafa was winning uh, from two sides. And the side the Solas was winning is the base of King Mustafa. He had dwarven. Heroes, so he lost his fortress and barracks with dwarven heroes and uh, with some support. Uh, Zerael has uh, started with Uruk Pit after his three. Um, you know what the players want? Uh, they want a total balance for the factions. So, they as uh, the uh, a player Awi Howie wants um, dwarves. I mean. I I <laughs> they want to uh, zera el was let me explain it in a very simple what? way uh zera el was uh dwarves before uh, first uh, and uh, and uh awi Howie was isengard they're repeating the first game with awi Howie as dwarves and zera el as uh isengard all right so it goes totally balanced for uh, both of the players on the same map. Yeah, swap factions. Thanks, Bender, for helping me. Uh, Howie Howie is, has a small, uh, has a small uh, tunnel. Enough. Yeah, tun tunnel. crossbow in his base to defend how we have is spamming tunnels left and right as we can see he has uh, almost 600 command point he has actually 500 500 now 500 there is the creeping that's a huge push from Awi Howie without any battle wagon this is what there was afraid of because oh he split his unit this is going to be bad for uh the turkish player Awi Howie because the war riders are coming and war riders can take care of the um gardens more than any other unit um yeah war riders are out with the howl ability they deal more damage one trample actually trample on two guardians Will he be able to save this furnace? I, I think he's gonna be able to do it. Oh, dwarves are really, really tanky creatures. All right, he managed to defend. Whoa, he got very early King Brand. Are we, how we? And the uh, he, King Brand is a great choice against the war riders, especially with his spam shot. I don't know how um, Isengard is gonna counter King Brand that early. Maybe some berserkers, or maybe um, lords, and the uh, death bringers would be great. A black orc from the inn, Zerael is using it. The uh, Russian Isengard player. 500 command points uh, for the dwarven player, Awi Howie, while Zerael has 600 command points. Zerael won, are you sure, Andy Brandy? 
Are you sure? Did I manage to destroy one of the close um, mine shaft to the fortress of um, Howie Howie? Howie Howie just was going for the battle wagon, but then he decided he's gonna build a mine shaft. So he teleports his units. Yeah, you, you know, all all the guardians cannot go under ground without a mine shaft. When Zero got so good, uh, I remember when he wasn't so good. Uh, when I was still around, he wasn't on this level. Now he's just yeah, like yeah, way better. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're right. Howie Howie was very active and he did a great performance versus uh, the player Ferry, the Belgian player. I thought he's gonna win against uh, Zerail. Today is doing okay. Berserkers. But he may still win. Yeah, he might still win. You're right. He has berserkers, especially after getting berserkers. Uh, I mean, berserkers. Yeah, Uruk berserk. They deal area damage. They are good versus. Um, oh shit! He's how he how he stole the resources here, and the war god is still not killed. <laughs> I like how Aoi Howie is trying to destroy Zerael's building, but the Warg are preventing him from that. Uh, Warg, yeah. Warg are helping Zerael. Like he would have work sentry. Uh, where did he build the work sentry? No, it looks like. A oh work yeah, sentry. yeah, yeah. The Warg uh, from that creep. Warg riders oh. from Zerael are trying to. Throw the tunnel. He doesn't have many work uh, riders, just two battalions. King Brand protects these guardians. Uh, not uh, he's just gonna work like a pikeman. Work riders, I don't think they can trample here because they're gonna get their the slam shot from King uh, Brand. But we will see. How how he keeps bringing phalanx and yeah, slam shot is waiting for the war glider and killed like 90% of the battalion uh, uh, Urukai okay Zerael uh, is facing hobbits now there are hobbits from Awe Howie. this is a complicated army and Rebane was used Z Zerael picked the uh, Palancer to speed up his unit I don't think the berserkers oh shit Berserkers were trying to kill King Brand. They dealt uh, damage to him, but then they retreated. Hobbit killed one of them with their rock. Um, let me check what Awi Howie picked. Hobbits after the rally call. Yeah, Zerael has Berserkers and now Lords, the Uruk High leader, the hero, the Berserker hero. Lords. Lords, um, Lords from Zerael and uh, Black Orc from the uh, from the end. How oh, yeah, is uh, building a, an axe tower around this fortress to prevent uh, any fortress? I mean to protect this area of uh, battle wagon now from Howie oh, Howie. Yeah, I want to see what's happening here. No war riders trample the guardians. This is the only level 2 unit for the uh, Russian player, Zerael. If he loses this um, farm, level 2 farm, it's gonna hurt him. Hobbit's time is over now. But Lord's probably can defend. He has, yeah, he can, he has this uh, carnage. The war riders are gonna be out very soon. The Guardians and Phalanx, fam. So Zerael is going now for the uh, Axe Throwers. Upgrading the uh, clan setting. I, it's a uh, risky is it clan setting. It might be destroyed. War riders might trample the guardians. Uh, Lurz still has his carnage. He's gonna use it maybe to defend this area. Lurz with speed. Very good combination for Lurz uh, with the Palancer. He can follow King Brand and kill him, but the war uh, riders body blocked. Uh, 
uh, for, uh, the follow from Lord Swiss cooking brand. Did you see that, Irby? Oh, whoa, he's back now. And Lord? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but now he has Guardians and Phalanx. King Brand Snipe Lord. Very nice micro from Awe Howie. Uh, Lord was on fire, but you know, level 2 with the Carnage. Not that powerful. He needs to be higher level to, for the Carnage to be very strong. Uh, yeah, but the player Awe Howie doesn't have many. Never mind. He was spamming tunnels, but in the base, in the middle, in the middle of, of uh, I mean, aggressively towards the base of uh, uh, Zerael, uh, because there is no tunnels in the northern side. Uh, and she just has uh, Guardians, uh, Hall of Warriors, but I think uh, he won the game. Uh, Awe Howie. Zeral doesn't have much here to defend. His fortress is probably gonna be destroyed. King Brand is dealing damage with his board against the fortress as a hero. Uh, main yeah, item. GG. Yeah, Firebird killing machine. It's uh, normally it's gonna favor the, do the Isengard. It's gonna favor the Isengard to win against the Dwarves. Yeah, it's GG, Irby. Well played by Ava, really. Yeah. He was behind at the start of the game. In my opinion, uh, um, Irby, the presence of... Um, the presence of the uh, Warg Riders was too expensive for the Isengard. Um, uh, you're right, you're right about that. 500 resources you can buy one battalion of uh, Berserker and one battalion of Urukai, uh, uh, one battalion of Wildmen and one battalion of Berserkers. Um, True. It's, inter it's interesting that both times the dwarves won. Yeah. Dwarves won. Both of the games. Hello, game action. How did Aoi turn this around? Yeah, I don't know the wrong. The dwarves beat Isengard Firebird Killing Machine Sane. Nah, and normally, guys, yeah. Normally, um, guys, you want uh, Ford of Eisen or we do it after this one? So uh, I was saying that the dwarves have less advantage against uh, Isengard, especially if the Isengard player spams Orokai Berserkers with uh, Wildmen of Dunlin. If he doesn't have um, Battle Wagon, once he gets the bat, I mean, my perfect, in my opinion, the build order for the Isengard is getting Berserkers with Wildmen, and after that, um, Pikemen with a combination of Berserker and Wildmen, and it's spread all over the map. War Riders, the building for the tunnels of the dwarves on the map is faster than the War Riders. They need so much uh, attention, the War Riders. Uh, while Berserkers and Wildmen, they don't need much attention. They don't take much command point. Wildmen take only 48 command point. You need lowest command point. And I think Warg Riders take high command point. Wow, you are so smart. Snully, uh, thanks. Uh, Snully, uh, let's go. Actually, there are tournament um, map on this. Uh, there are some tournament maps. <coughs> are we? Sorry. Uh, no problem. Are we what map? Any map? Are we choose? Ford of Eisen. Uh, normal Ford of Eisen this time. Uh, y you sure? It's boring. Okay. He wants the normal Ford of Eisen. Uh, lame. What's your favorite map? Uh. 
any new uh, one versus one is map is gonna be my favorite map. Like I would really like to play um, the new one versus one, like um, Arnon Meyer. It's a new one versus one map. If uh, again Isengard the Dwarves we rematch, yes please, yes please. No uh, dwarf versus Isen again uh, for stream and say... content. Uh, yeah. I thought you would say Nandurian. Nandurian in the four versus four. Yeah, I also love that. <laughs> you were spamming it all the time in the past. All right, score now is one for each pair, Urbi. So but it's best. You, yeah. Do you remember when I came from the game uh, to the game and teach me everything about the game? Oh, Nandurian, the uh, yeah player that uh, didn't like you when you joined the community. I remember it was like five years ago or six years, maybe eight years ago. It was four years ago. Four years? Uh, wait, yeah, it was like beginning of. 2019. Wait, not 19. Can you tell me who kicked you exactly in the four versus four uh, room between players? Grieven. Grieven <laughs> of Angmar, the uh, French player. Yeah, but late late later on he was really. Uh, you became his um, best friend. Yeah. Yeah, Grieven of Angmar is a salty and toxic guy, but he left the community. He's okay. Yeah, he's toxic, but he likes to make players angry. Uh, Zera, <laughs> yeah, he enjoys uh, torturing players. Zera L is goblin, starting with a very normal goblin start, like three goblin caves, two goblin caves, uh, two goblin tunnels, one goblin cave, one goblin warrior. Uh, same. Oh, is it the mirror? How how is doing the same? It's gonna be goblin spam all over the map. Uh, hey, you speak? I don't know. I think God was the worst. Worst? <laughs> you speak is funny guy. No, 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 guys. Normally, I think God beat uh, dwarves. You just need to be a good scout and not to go for the wrong decisions with your unit. Wildman is the best choice you can ever have. But you can't start with Wildman against Dwarves because you need to have a better start. Uh, Zerael is always picking the green color. He loves the green. He's starting with Goblin creeping against the Warg uh, left. Same for Awi Howie probably. Yeah, for Awi Howie is gonna do the same to creep the Warg left. You know, Warg um, are so good against single target like one Gondor soldier. He bites the whole. This creep can kill one Gondor soldier's battalion, but it cannot kill one go uh, goblin warrior battalion. Although the go goblin costs 100 resources, while Gondor <laughs> soldiers cost 250. The thing. Oh, is, oh, is that possible? Uh, uh, what did it say? Uh, sorry, couldn't hear. Really? How is that possible? Yeah, because the uh, spam. Uh, kill the uh, uh, warg normally even if you make a warg riders battalion uh, it's gonna die to the goblins the spam warg are not so good versus spam you see the battalion of goblins has so many goblins and each time he needs to kill one guy uh, he really needs time this warg to kill while gondor soldiers has a few members than the goblin warriors battalion yeah, True. definitely. Look at the battalion of the goblins. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. This each battalion contains twenty goblin warriors. While Gondor soldiers maybe ten uh, goblin uh, Gondor soldiers. Uh, so uh, Zerael is just a creeping. Zerael has four goblin caves in a great uh, placement. Are you sure fifteen goblin warrior uh, Miraka in the? Uh, oh, you mean the Gondor soldiers have 15? Let's check uh, Awiha is defending himself from Zerael's attack. For Gondor soldiers, 15 guy. Alright, they are less than uh, the battalion of Goblin Warrior. And uh, they have poison Goblin Warriors. Gondor soldiers, they don't have poison blades. So, 
the damage from the goblin warrior is gonna be higher than Gondor soldier's damage. You are so smart. Uh, and me smart? No. No, I'm not smart. I've been stuck in streaming this game for like three years, and this is could not happen. I will, um, Urbi. But thanks for the compliment. Um, yeah, I always knew knew that you're a very nice person. Everyone in the community loves you, and now I rem I, I understand why because you compliment everyone, so everyone's gonna love you. <laughs> yeah, especially Rambo. So Goblin Archer is now for Zerael. And oh my God! Howie Howie is getting Spider Riders. He's not gonna get Spiderlings. Uh, spiderlings are so Ooh. useless. Okay, look at that. Uh, bats from Zerael. And uh, how, we, how we started with the war chant, but the goblin archers are uh, shooting the goblin warrior. You cannot uh, keep the goblin archers put at your uh, goblin warrior. That was the win situation for Zerael. Zerael is playing very good today, the Russian player. He's playing, I mean, normally he plays good, but he doesn't do what he's doing now. And uh, he decided to spam even more goblins by going for one more goblin cave. Um, Tal Urbi is good game, my bro. Barking is saying good game, my bro. Uh, to you, Urban. He's saying GG, my bro. Yeah, <laughs> GG, my bro. Uh, let me check. This guy here, Derael, has 750 command point. And he is going only for goblins. While there, a Turkish player, Awihaw, is planning to get the horses of the goblins. He's gonna be over spammed by goblins from Zerael. Spider riders uh, hey. are not, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Do you know how uh, these goblins are called? Uh, goblin uh, warriors? Yeah. Uh, Sauron calls them scum. We call them. We can call them shit stains. Oh. No, no, no. I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay. Spider riders. Irby started with spider riders. Awi howie. Uh, against the archers of the goblins. I don't think this is wow. a wise idea. Because. Israel is playing so good. Look at the Isn't map. Yeah, look yeah. at the map. It's <laughs> green everywhere. Why would you... These spider riders are expensive. 600. You can buy 6 battalion of goblin warriors. And if you tell me uh, which gonna win 6 battalion of goblin warrior with their poison or 1 spider rider, it's definitely gonna be the 6 battalion of goblin warrior with their poison blades. For free, by the way, the poison blade. So, um... Now um, he's gonna lose the map control because he took the decision of getting spider riders. 600 it costs. And uh, they have only 6 uh, guys in the battalion of the spider riders. So they well, that makes them very bad in the trample against a large numbers. If he, The more you have in the battalion member, the better the trample is gonna be. If you combine all of the spider riders together, they can trample one big army of goblin warrior and kill it. But this means you need to be uh, in one place only. Rohirrims are the best to trample and Gondor Knights and uh, Rivendell Lancers, forces of light normally. They can trample... They can... They, yeah. They can uh, trample better than... Now, Awi Howie summoned his um, spiderlings. Summon spider allies. Uh, there, I did not decide what he wants to buy yet after uh, war chant and uh, bats. These um, spider spiders are they deal a lot of damage. Spiders deal a lot of damage. And wait, there, is going for a hero. Which one? I don't know what hero, but. The fancy spiders. I don't know about this one. Uh, they do it fancy. 
Then I'll stop the recruiting any kind of units. And he didn't go for the spider riders. He's like, he stopped everything. Fight. Look at this map, look. Fight between spiders. Yeah, spiders are killing each other in the northern side between Awi Hawi and Zerael, but Zerael spiders won. Uh, what is he doing? Uh, the player is Zerael. He stopped doing anything. Like he was, he had the map control, but now he's. I don't know if he's it's getting spider riders. Kill up, or maybe. Yeah, the Awi Awi has a big army of spider riders. But oh, Shilop. Yeah, I know it is gonna buy Shilop, but I was wondering if he can he, if he's getting Dragon Lord. Because that oh, would be impossible. That would be even better. Yeah. Yeah, but impossible. Yeah, he's very expensive with Dragon Lord. Shilop is affordable. She's half the price of Dragon Lord. She's 4,500 in this version. And she can kill the spider riders, but her only weakness is uh the spam if she tramples the goblin warriors uh they're gonna kill her like when they kill sharkum there i'll sending his mini spiders after the spider riders the cool thing about sheila you can just tell her to go against spider riders and she has the uh, same speed as the spider riders and she can catch them wherever they uh, stay in one place and now he's uh, making more goblin warriors, maybe, but now Zerael gave his opponent uh, time. Uh, he gave Awi Hawi time to breathe, like by recruiting Shilob, he gave him time to spam even more. Um, okay. Some important farms will go down. Yeah, level, a uh, high level of farms. You know, Spider Riders were a great choice. I uh, take it back. They were a uh, great choice. Back in the days, they were really bad at choice against the Goblin. Oh, nice uh, webbing. Shilop can use the fear. This is very important to spread the Spider Riders and kill them. Spiderling summon from Zerael. I mean, uh, recruiting, not summon. Spiderlings can kill the Spider Riders, but they cannot uh, trample the Goblin Warriors, which makes them weaker. The green goblin player is uh, Derael and he's getting heroes now. He's getting Azog and Shilob. The uh, Russian player is getting heroes. I don't know if this is the best decision against the spam. He would like to spam even more. And uh, Abu Hada. Yeah. Abu Hada has whole map. Yeah. Zero is basically in the corner, but he's building some lumber mills at least. Wyrm or uh, the Watcher can be summoned by Awi Hawi now. And he can destroy literally all of the uh, goblin caves from the player Terael. All he needs is vision, and now he got his vision. Goblin caves are very weak uh, barracks, and destroying these goblin caves will stop the spam from uh, Azerael so yeah maybe you can yeah the Wyrm is throwing two buildings with one target and one more a breathing fire destroys the rebuild rebuilding I don't know if the decision of Azerael was good by getting Shilob she's leveling herself up is getting more skills. Azog is also leveling himself up. But the economy of the Russian player is getting destroyed by the spam. Serael needs Spider Riders to trample. Spider Riders were not bad against the spam of the goblins. Oh, oh they're gonna die. Yeah. You know why the goblins the spam... Uh, Spam, I mean, spider riders were very wrong in the past against goblin <laughs> spam because the goblins, oh. uh, spider rider, uh, goblin warriors uh, had more damage in the past. Uh, now they are nerfed. Uh, goblins had were very powerful, but in the recent version, the goblin warriors are nerfed. They are weaker now. So they, you can trample them with spider riders and without having your spider riders killed 
Um, I, I mean, think they are perfectly strong for uh, the way they, they are lost uh, and everything. Yeah, I also agree with that. I think the goblin warriors should uh, be strong units against uh, at the start of the game. Now they are not that good. Spider allies from Awi Hawi one more time. There is Azog. Dragon Lord, yeah, he can afford for the Dragon Lord. He has a great economy. Uh, level 3 uh, mine shaft, I mean tunnels. While And he has lumber mill. While the player Zerael doesn't have a great economy, you know. He has some lumber mill, but his level 3 farm were destroyed by Howie Howie. Tilob, maybe it was a bad decision for the. Oh, she's killing a lot of spiders when she targets them. It's probably a bad decision, Shilob, because you need to keep the spam. And okay, now the push from Zerael uh, with the Wyrm and the Spider Allies Tummel. Wyrm now is gonna destroy the level 3. Oh, don't go for the barracks of Aoi Aoi. Maybe he wants to destroy the barracks. Yeah, he wants to destroy the barracks. This Wyrm is very, very important. If you don't micro her, uh, her? Is it the woman? Wyrm is the woman, right? Wyrm. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Maybe it is. I don't know. Chat, is the Wyrm a woman or a man? He is planning to destroy the economy of the. Uh, if, of uh, I mean, the production building, not the economy for uh, Aoi Aoi. And in my opinion, this is wrong. If he destroys the level 2 uh, buildings, uh, level, uh, t level 3 uh, tunnels, that would be better. Because he can simply rebuild his barracks from the income of these uh, two uh, production uh, resource buildings. Anyway, the game is not over and uh, I don't know what's happening now. Game... They're both playing. Hmm? They're both playing so good. Yeah, they're playing so good, and Howie like... Howie is pl uh, trying to get the 25 power points as fast as possible from his spellbook. <coughs> more, uh, more, uh, more goblins from both of the players. First, the dragon firebird killing machine is saying fi first the dragon is gonna win. Maybe Howie Howie is recruiting the dragon lord. I have a feeling he already recruited him because the pressure of Howie Howie is not. Um, Strong anymore. Zera L and his Azog. <coughs> Azog is level 5. Azog is level 5 and keeps killing the goblin. Gets 1 uh, plus 1 for killing the goblins. This makes the economy of Zera L good. Not so good, but better than. Oh, Dragon Lord from Awi Howie is out. Zera L, he, I don't know if he's gonna buy the Dragon Lord or not. Dragon Lord can kill the Spider Riders with his area damage. Dragon Lord is strong against big units. Azog from Zera L got killed by the other Azog. Other Azog is somewhere here. Can't see, can't see Azog guys, but he's here. Look at him. He's very very short hero. Um, looks like a goblin. Yeah, he, he looks like uh, one of the goblin warriors. Uh, we how his command point is one thousand, and he got the uh, summon only for uh, the dragon. He cannot go for the. He l went for the right side of the of the twenty five power point. He can summon only the dragon, not Balrog. And still, he's great. Dragon is great. Uh, there I need five more power point to summon the dragon. He has goblin archers, and the dragon is out. He was out very, very quickly. Let's see how much damage this dragon is gonna do. Has this uh? Is this dragon when he destroys buildings? You also get power point. 
So Awe Howie is getting power points again. Shilob. Oh, Shilob wants to do webbing on this uh, Dragon Lord of Awe Howie. Nice move from Derael. Uh, Damaging the Dragon Lord and the Dragon is still burning buildings. Azog got killed. Oh shit, Goblin King from Zerael got killed, not Azog. I don't understand why Zerael is throwing in this game. He was winning. You saw that at the beginning. He had the northern side of the map. He had the middle. He has just all the map. But then he decided oh. to get Shilob against the Spider Riders. Which is wrong. Okay. Just get Spider Riders against Spider Riders. And kind of needed to deal with yeah. Spider Riders. And the I think Awe Awe played very good. Yeah, Awe Awe played so good. But the problem is that Derail with his weir went to destroy the buildings, not the economy. If he just destroys these two tunnels, they are level 3 farms. And level 3 farms give a lot of money. Uh, Azog uh, once again from Derail. Oh, the dragon. Mm. Yeah. This dragon from Zerael is throwing all the barracks here from Awe Awe. Uh, Awe Awe got another builder so he can rebuild himself. Oh, dragon area damage is so high. He needs to take this building down. Alright, painted land from Zer uh, Zer uh, Awe Awe. Okay, they cannot repeat the goblin mirror after this one Because it's gonna be very boring Cut them down. Azog is chasing the other Azog And just tell the goblin archer to shoot him. He's gonna die Wildman of Dunland from Awe Howie. He's not gonna summon the tainted land because it can be countered by Terrat. It's over I think for the player uh, Howie Howie, yeah. the Turkish player. Yeah, it is over. Derael went for Shilob. Shilob is now level almost 10. It is not gonna help you when you don't have economy. He's, um, he's not that good in Goblin Mirror, in my opinion. Shilob, she is made to counter other horses like Rohirrim and. Uh, but in Goblin Mirror, you need to destroy the spam of your opponent, the Goblin Warrior, especially on an open map like this. You need to trample them with the Spider Riders. The decision to go for the Spider Riders wasn't bad at all. Uh, I thought it was gonna be bad. We are from Awe Howie to finish the building of the ride. He has level 3 Lumber Mill. Still a poison. Um, Azog, I think he's gonna die. By time he dies anyway, Azog. From Awe Howie, because when Shilob poison uh, does the poison stinger on Hero, he loses it over time. Alright. Yeah, the barracks of Awe Howie are auto rebuilt by, you know, Goblin's have ability. Auto rebuild them. Zira is fighting to the end. Yeah, he doesn't want to leave. But I don't think he has economy to buy the Dragon Lord. Look at his economy. It's going down. Uh, but his command point is high. Alright, it's because of the map. Uh, he has some tunnels on the map. He's still fighting, seriously. And there is a tower from Awe Howie. It's gonna be destroyed. A golem is running for his life, he doesn't want to be killed in the map. Here he escapes from armies, wherever the armies are. Golem. These uh, tunnels from uh, Awe Howe building tunnels in front of his opponent's base, it's just feeding for the com uh, power point for your opponent. But he won already. Yeah, he won, but you really don't want to feed him your, your power point at the end. Yeah. You don't want to do that. He's buying the banner uh, carrier, Awe Howie. Probably for the half trolls. The banner carrier is good against uh, four half trolls, more than goblin warriors. It yeah, gives them a charge attack. 
at this point it's about time to get some upgrades. Yeah. Transition into double uh, uh, how about this fisher into half trolls upgrade. Yeah. And unstoppable. Mm -hmm. Dragon Lord, uh, when he was out from Aoi Howie, uh, Zera L started to uh, his unit and map control because Dragon can destroy not just units uh, in the map but tunnels and he's gonna level up. Firebird killing machine was the right by whoever gets the dragon is gonna win. So Aoi Howie's um, build order was the Goblin spam of uh, and Spider Riders and then after the spider riders went directly for the dragon lord philip can still do webbing on this dragon but she's not gonna kill him philip level 10 whoa yeah level 10 but she's not gonna help i i i would love to see dragon lord level 10 from zera he made the dragon lord level 10 actually the dragon lord the uh, in this version is less useful than before he's still great but unlike before uh, in the past when you recruit a dragon lord he's gonna just kill everything uh, and he's not uh, poison arrows wasn't that great in the past and the shield doesn't do webbing so nothing was targeting the dragon lord it was just very deadly but now in this version uh, you see his him all, always with uh, red uh, HP but that doesn't mean he's not bad it's still great if you micro him. All you need is to micro him or... Okay... Uh, Zera L has uh, 800 command point dropping to 750. He's still in the game trying to survive and trying to rebuild his barracks while Aoi Howie has 1000 command points, 16 power points saving for Balrog. Actually he's not saving for Balrog, went for the scavenger. We can get more resources. Okay. He has his barracks producing more goblins. Goblin warrior. The game is about goblins, fam. No way Zera L is gonna turn back this game. No way, Irby. He's not gonna uh, turn this game around. You're Zera. probably right. Yeah, th there is a uh, lot of resources from Aoi Howie. Uh, his income is better than Zerael. And this game, sometimes when you play this game in, in late uh, game, Zerael killed uh, Gollum, taking the ring. No, he puts the ring inside the fortress. He can't re recruit the Dragon Lord, so definitely he can't recruit Sauron, but still, don't want your opponent to recruit Thorun in the final against you. Uh, Shilob is exa exhausted from Zerail. He's overusing her. Zerail's command point is. Um, Zerail doesn't have many power points, no command point. Oh shit, Shilob might die. If Shilob dies, Zerail is gonna call it good game. Shilob died, and Aoi Howie took 350 uh, resources. Aoi Howie with his scavenger ability took 350 from uh, Shilob's money. Zera is still fighting. Two wildmen summon from both players. It is just over. Look at the minimap. Do you see the minimap, Urbi? It's like yeah. <laughs> it's like you have a fever. What is that thickness called in the past when you have points, red points in your body? In your face. Oh, I know. Your... Uh, I know what you mean. I don't know exactly how it's called. Yeah, it's called. It's, I think I remember it. Uh, it's a uh, chicken sickness. Uh, this is the <laughs> sickness uh, when you have it, uh, you can get a red bubble all over your body. Chicken it sickness. Yeah, it used to happen so much in the past, but nowadays not happening. Chicken po box. Yeah, maybe. Second box, yeah. Uh, Dragon Lord, he he's level almost six for the Firefly. May. Yeah. The only criticism I have for Ava this game is, at this point he can 
make upgrades easily. Has the whole map so much economy and can go for upgrades. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, he's playing very, very good. Yeah. You're right. Dera El is tell not. He doesn't want to leave. Maybe giants from Awe Howe. Awe Howe doesn't know how. He's not taking the right decision. Even the best players don't take the best decision in this game. Uh, just to get giants and finish him. He's under pressure. He's like his brain is uh, calculated to spam certain units and he's not doing the right uh, decision. Two giants can finish Zera's fortress and finish this game. He's still spamming tier 1 units and going to uh, after the farms and forgot totally to get giants. He has Awi Howie has two fissures in the top side of the map. Uh, case in case he summons. Mark, the only thing he should do is get the upgrade. Um, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't hear you because the Firebird Killing Machine was playing the sad music. <laughs> yeah, Firebird loves, um, he's a very romantic guy, he loves the drama and the music, you know. He, ha he, oh, has, singing. he has a friend called Choi. They spam 4 versus 4 games all time and uh, they bully other players. Um, look at this army of half trolls. It has the armor upgrade and forge blades. You see their big sword. I like oh, nice. Wh when did he get this? Uh, you, I love how the half trolls hold their sword. Shilab is back from Deryl, but she's not gonna help. Shilab is gonna probably die to the half trolls. Spikeman, he did her oh weapon. My God. Oh, poison he arrow. Uh, is it gonna be fine? This dragon lord, dragon summon from Awe Howie. He has a dragon summon in the base of uh, Zerael. And look at these half trolls. Gonna take the fortress down. Actually, you don't need the giant. Who needs the giant when you have half trolls? I think giant doesn't. Uh, you need the like. Mobile unit. The giant is slow. So Awe Howie decided to get the half rolls to finish the fortress of Zera. Yeah, it's better. Yeah. Why is the dragon from Awe Howie looking like this? While while dragon of Zerael is looking like Chinese the dragon. Although both of the goblins, know. maybe it comes, it has to do something with the collector's uh, edition feather feature. Oh my god, he can't kill the fortress. Yeah, he couldn't. But how how he summons the watcher, and the watcher can't destroy the fortress if uh, yeah, it is doing some damage. This is the watcher's hand. It's eating even the builder of how <laughs> how and the go watcher go I hit it oh my god <laughs> the sushi is not bad at all sushi wants the fortress <laughs> okay one more and the sushi Whoa. did it sushi did it she did it sushi is not bad at all can destroy a fortress no no i don't like goblin king this much unless you get him only for the leadership He's very bad. Goblin warriors with yeah. their poison, they can kill him. I don't but, think he's worth it in this matchup. Yeah. Uh, Zerail is dead. But he still refuses to uh, leave. Maybe he's trying to make other tired for the upcoming games. Mm, maybe. You're very probably right. Half trolls are even killing goblin heroes. Goblin heroes are definitely bad in goblin mirror. They are good versus men and dwarves and elves yeah. because they have less spam. Only Jurogot is good. Yeah, the yeah. dragon lord. 
Philip didn't do much, to be honest. Although she was level 10, but what can Shilob do against third game uh, in final tournament? Viral versus Tower. That was a really good game. Yeah. It was an awesome game. Goblins testing base. I'll update the scoreboard. Now two win for Awi Howie is it there? Well there I'll got only one. And let's play on this map if players don't mind. Uh both players agree on this map. I hope yes, because boring for the Fizen again. Oh, I don't know this map. It's in one of the new map for the version nine. It's a really amazing map. It's an amazing. It's From the... BFME two or Solas maybe. No, uh, I think the devs. I think we don't uh, replay mirror. Yeah. Yeah. More uh, boring. <laughs> how, how is the right? You're not gonna. Mm -hmm. So it's best of nine. Okay, Zira. Uh, Zira will have the word in deciding what map uh, he wants to go as it's his turn, but. Of nine, the score is one. What are we? Best of nine. Have fun, good luck. Who's talking with you, um, uh, Mr. Balin? This is uh, Solas. Say hello to Solas, Mr. Balin. So let uh, Mr. Balin would like to talk with you. Hello, well, um, Mr. Balin, you can ask me anything. Today. Mr. Balin is an Uber player, uh, just don't mind them. Hello, it's just Roach. And welcome. We have Awi Howie as Dwarves, while Zerail is now Alps. Elven Race. The final game final series in the tournament of BC Cup they don't work uh, Ghost Boy I turned them off the uh, channel points so we uh... okay Mr. Balin I was just kidding how how is getting the Hall of Warrior against elves against elves you always what would you do what what is your start our uh, Urbi uh, what is BC something standard for B class tournament? No, no. Hello, Aragorn. Guys. Mr. Balin. Hmm? Mr. Balin, I love you. Uh, Mr. Balin is a very old uh, player. He's as old as Balin. The movie in the, <coughs> in the book. The very old dwarven guy. So uh, yeah, what is your start? You will be as men uh, as elves against dwarves. Rocky start is two horses. What about yours? That's a that's a boys clan start. That's what you don't wanna do. Yeah. Better to start like zero. That's more safe. Uh, start swords and some archers. He's actually yeah, getting yeah. only swords now. Maybe archers after the second battalion of uh, swordmen. The best build order is, in my opinion, to creep what? with uh, very early barracks from the air and then get Lorian archers and Lorian swordmen to defend. Creeping is creeping very important. Pikes. Yeah, creeping with the pikemen. It's very important. It gives you free money and uh, power point. And the dwarves are also looking for creep, so you want to take the creep from their uh, side. As you see, Awi Howie is going to creep the northern side of the map. And if uh, there are uh, crap this place, he's actually scouting. And he saw that his opponent has a builder. 
Yeah, he saw that his opponent has a builder, mm, but he didn't know that the builder was not alone. How we have is the Turkish player is gonna creep this warglar after creeping the first warglar. Uh, Zerail is building farms in strategical places. He doesn't want to build them all in mm. his base. Uh, did, did, kill the builder. did he kill the builder? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, Zerail killed the builder. That's great. Elven player Zerail has two Glorian warriors that are called, taking uh, care of the tunnels of the dwarves. The dwarves um, are getting now battle wagon. Awehaw is getting battle wagon. The Turkish player wants to get rid of the Lorian warriors. Harassment. Battle wagon is gonna be out soon, so these Lorian warriors better disappear. Phalanx, battalion. Oh. Yeah, what? What is it oh. out? It's playing. Uh, I love Cop Zero. I was playing the start. Offensive and uh, doing damage. He did uh, destroy two battalion, uh, two uh, mine shaft, but the, but Awe Howe still has many mine shaft on the map. He still has yep. many. And the battle wagon are hiding. Took the creep and killed the one mile in Shiva. Other hub. Beyond the standards. Oh, other hub is preparing a big push. Very cool and hammer. So double buff is gonna be very hard to for for battalion of guardians. Your right. friend Beyond Standards has subscribed for 13 months. Mm. Zira can stop it. He doesn't have much on the field. Uh, beyond the standard, I was gonna call you on Discord, but I can't add you to the voice uh, call because I am not your friend on uh, Discord. I wanted to call you, but I couldn't. Uh, you can only add in voice chat uh, your friend. Uh, and yes, if you add me as a friend on Discord, I'll add you at, uh, for for the voice uh, call group uh, between me and uh, hold on a second wait if you no if you do a voice call directly i'm gonna lose urbi so uh, i added you let me check let me check this is a gg i think oh god i'm gonna accept him i need to watch damn it the thing uh, uh, I can add shanks. I can add shanks. Uh, you watch, okay? Yeah, yeah. Just uh, talk uh, what's happening. No, you can't because I my screen will be. Uh, shanks did it in the wrong time. Just look at this mess. Guardians destroyed everything as the barracks and the one balloon tree from the player. Derael. Derael has nothing. I'm gonna go directly. What the uh, friend list? Um, I'm gonna add you. Add oh, this game is looking so bad for zero. Okay. I'm I'm really bad with stuff. Huh? I, looks like I can't add Shanks on, as a friend. I can't add him as a friend on Discord. And I can't uh, maybe add one more player. No, I can't. Oh, actually, I can't. I can't. Can I? Yeah, I can. I can now. All right. I, I invited Urbi and uh, Shanks is now back with us. Uh, we uh, we lost everything. I mean, there I lost everything. Thanks, there I lost everything. I told you, man. Obviously, the world champion, you know. But there I uh, was playing so good so far. He just uh, did the wrong decision. 
by like my god look zero still can win this how is he able to do this okay look at the even the lancers following the battle wagon they destroyed it i mean yeah Thanks. how are you i'm doing good thank you so much what about you man long time I mean, we'll see. You know, you are always uh, unpredictable. You come back and then you leave again. I hope this time you will stay a little bit longer. Um, yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll try to be on a bit more. Uh, but, I mean, just when the we upcoming all have tournament will be when the upcoming tournament. Because these nabs are. Um, I can't win. You have more. Look how good these players are. Uh, if you train every day, you can easily beat them. So Zirael has uh, so many Rivendell Lancers, and he has Haldir. This combination he needs for a good... Uh, uh, Haldir is gonna snipe the Battle Wagon and uh, Phalanx, while the Rivendell Lancers are gonna trample everything else and destroy um, uh, tunnels. Yeah, tunnels. Right. And he has Zerael has the heal around his fortress. Uh, well, you know dwarves when when they attack with a big uh, guardians army and rally called this is really bad for any other race. Oh shit! Zerael's micro with Rivendell lancers destroyed the battle wagon. And now these guardians are not strong because the battle wagon was providing them. Um, Providing them leadership. Hobbit summon from. What is the command points right now, me? 700 for Zera L and uh, 650 for the Dwarven player, Awe Howie. Hobbit summon was totally useless. Got trampled How by. How does Zera have 700 command points, I think? Um, maybe he's cheating. He has the. Uh, let me check. He has the. Um, Malone trees in strategical places. Of the map, like he built them at the beginning, like in the south, he has two, and he has level two. Um, Zira has so three. unique playstyle. Like, yeah, yeah, the different so playstyle. Yeah, yeah, he has enough farms in the middle, also two farms. He has so many farms. He went for the enchantering myth, the Russian player, while Turkish player Awi Awi. He's now spamming Phalanx because his opponent has so many Rivendell Lancers. Hobbit's summon from Awi Howie did literally nothing. Got trampled by the uh, Rivendell Lancers. The Rivendell Lancers are so damn good in this uh, game. They destroy buildings very quickly, but they their each They die very quickly. I think also dwarves have like no real counter to horses, no? Like, yeah, you have only pikemen, but you have like no horse hero that can chase them. Yeah, battle wagons cannot uh, kill the uh, horses. Uh, horses always chase the battle wagon and kill it. Only King Brand is the only chance for uh, dwarves to go slam shot the for, uh, uh, horses. Uh, and he cannot be everywhere, King Brand, on the map. Zerael got his uh, hero king brand, uh, I mean, this guy, Glorfindel. His area damage. Glorfindel is the best hero I know against dwarves. His area damage. Now, once the elves start making elven heroes, the dwarves struggle. Dwarves struggle big time. This is level 2 mineshaft for uh, how He doesn't want to lose it. He summoned all of his army, Awi Howie, in this area. Oof. What the fuck? I thought it's Galadriel, but it was Harvin. Guys, oh my goodness, he's this... gonna lose. Oh boy. Awi Howie lost all of his army. Of the That's OP. Haldir's leadership. It is really great. Awi Howie didn't have leadership near that area. What, uh, what do you think about the Dwarven faction major effects? You know, I think they are I'm, bad, no? I'm very bad with Dwarves. I'm, I, I don't I know how to play them. Maybe, maybe <laughs> with... The, wait, I'm gonna say something for the first time. Uh, changing the resolution will change everything. So, uh, it, it doesn't when I play with the resolution out. It's not gonna matter any faction. You just spam tier 1 units. 
and spam them left and right. It's GG, my bro. On the map. It's GG, I my bro. When you play Dwarves and you can't win in 10 minutes, then you lose. Dwarves? Are we how we lost game now? I you guess. need to get ahead in some way if you're behind. In yeah, 10 minutes I mean, that's what I'm, what I'm saying. You know, when you fall behind with this faction, you are doomed. Wait, are we in the fourth game? Yes. This is the first Shanks, game. Shanks, I sent you Radmin info on Discord. Yeah, but I don't need to join, I think. You know, I can just watch stream. Oh, okay. It's better, then it's not gonna be that laggy. No, you don't have a bad connection. It's gonna lag. Uh, versus, between Awe versus... Uh... I like it when Misha of X is the cameraman, you know? It's less work for you. So, uh, what are you gonna do after I leave to Canada, Shane? What? Won't... I mean, I know that that won't happen, my friend, so it's okay. <laughs> you leaving to Canada? Yeah, it's gonna happen. I don't need to show you the, uh, the progress. Where? I mean, Where my last team was how, saying how much, it's gonna be how Canada, much, maybe it's how gonna much, be Norway. How much are you gonna bet for my leaving to, my, to the island of Valinor? Let's bet. To the island of Valinor, I'm gonna bet all my all my money, house, everything. I call Canada island of Valinor. <laughs> then he can just move to Germany. You're gonna get a house from Shanks. May. May May is always thinking that I'm rich, you know? Like he's in secretly thinking that I'm rich guy. <laughs> from streaming. Yeah, I mean yeah, I'm working also, but it's hard when you yeah, have two yeah. kids, no? Scoring. They are eating. They are e it's not only about what they are eating, also what they are shitting, because you need so many, <laughs> so much, so many di diapers and stuff. It's unbelievable <laughs> when you have two kids how much they cost. Okay. Oh, I don't I know. Give, if I could, I could give all this money to Major of X if they, if I wouldn't have kids, you know. I'm going to. Maybe you can adopt me. Yoda told me that Lebanon is not gonna be fixed after 10 years. So, uh, two, uh, score is uh, two. How can Yoda know this, man? Yoda is always like talking, and the way he's talking is like, it sounds like he knows what he's, to what he's talking about, you know? Yeah, you're right. But uh, Yoda. <laughs> but how the heck does he know this? You know, that's, nobody knows this. No, he's right, because um, Lebanon was never good. So why is it gonna be change? Is it gonna change now? The problem is, I think the entire world is gonna be in a bet in a war spot now really that's soon. that's a negative look to the world. Yeah, but it's gonna happen, my friend. It's not, it's also Germany. When I moved to Germany for the first time, it was way different than it is nowadays. Okay. Like, uh, so if when, my Russian... own, when my when my grandma came to Germany, she was able to work for ten years and buy a house with this money. If the Russian war stops. It's gonna be better once again, and yes, uh, the more human on the world, the, the less value for a human it's gonna be. So this is normal. But the, in in Canada, if you go Shanks to Canada, they have less human there. They have thirty seven million people. I'm going for uh, uh, to Canada because it has less human. The humankind did not infest that place of the planet yet. Because of the cold weather. So, the more human in Canada, the shit it's gonna become. Uh, we always started in the middle of the map with the barracks, elven barracks. I know uh, Germany is overpopulated now as well. And of course, man, you have like 80 plus millions, pe millions of people but, living here. But Syrian, you know? Syrian uh, people are gonna go back because this war in Syria has. Stopped. They will not go back, man. Like Is they're gonna be. Forced? I think. Ah, you can't force them. Yeah, I mean. They, no, you, they... The thing, the thing is, the thing about moving to a country it means the second you are in the country, it's hard to get you out of it. You know what I mean? No, the Lebanese. Very hard. It's not. Nah, nah. You, you need to. Film. But you know how hard for this is to find millions of people and send them home. You know, it's not easy, man. Yeah, but they are going to be forced, I guess. These are uh, the rule. If uh, we will see. But 
uh, the world is gonna change. There will be always down Mold and up. Changed. Yeah, there will be a down and up always. World. Uh, there will be no down for me and me. Saruman was always right, my friend. You know, he knew it. He saw it all coming. Hmm? A new power is rising, and these are gonna be the Uruks, the new spe species, you know, of the humans, the evolution. Yeah, uh, I want to become Urukai one day, or maybe. Of course, my friend. You know, you have like the, you know, Uruks. They have like thick shields. You know, their shields broad. Can I be a hell troll of Angmar? I also yeah, like that. You can eat. You can eat orcs. You know, looks like meat back on the menu. You know. Uh yeah. What can I eat? Orcs. Uh, I'd rather stay with the chicken burger. Yeah, but there won't be chicken soon. Is that a orc burger? Of course, my friend. You know, they will. They will put the feet in from the orc inside the burger, and that's it. Look at Awi Howie with his very early push. Phalanx and uh, Lo uh, I mean pikemen miss on sentries and uh, and Lorian warrior look, start. Look, now it's the same matchup the other way around, right? So basically now Avi is playing elves and Zirel is playing dwarves. So I can almost guarantee it that dwarves will lose this. But uh, Zirel has a different playstyle with dwarves. Yeah, but who cares if you can't win the first ten minutes? It's hard. Hey, maybe let me check the. Uh, command point for each pair. Zerael has 300 command point while Awi Howie has 500 command point. Like he's spamming farms as elves at the beginning. He's literally there are only spamming. two things I, I can say about the Dwarven faction. Either nobody really knows about how to play this faction pro properly hmm? or this faction's play style is so strange that it's like you know win or die moment. You, no, know? No, no, you either no, win no, fast no, or you die. No. They were talking about uh, the dwarf, dwarven race in the version 9. Uh, there was a mistake by uh, with the patch. Guardian's uh, damage is supposed to be much higher than this. They still have the same tankiness, but Guardian used to deal more damage uh, than this. And this will change everything about the dwarves. Like if you have, for example, 4 battalion of dwarves, uh, with the rally call, they can just empty. They can now go. I mean, let me explain it this way Gondor Soldier Battalion uh, can withstand a fight against one go guardian. Uh, but if the guardians had didn't have their um, mistake uh, in the patch, they would win easily. Guardians, same for the Lorian Warrior. I think they win a fight w against Guardian now. But they will never have a chance against. Um, correct me if I'm mistaken, uh, Mirak. I'm getting this information from Mirak. He's helping me so much. I I am I don't read anything about the devs patch. I just spam streams. What I'm doing. But is this now the grand finals or is this the finals of the winner bracket only? Uh, I I. Uh, sorry, I, I couldn't hear because... I mean, is, yeah. is this the Grand Finals or is this only the Finals of the Winner Bracket? Uh, it's the fi final of the Winner Bracket. So yeah. it's not the end, the last game of the tourney? No, right? no. Okay, so... <coughs> yeah, Hello, that's... I'm back. Welcome back, Kirby. Welcome back. So, uh, alright. Uh, What's we... going on in the game? Uh, so far, uh, I mean, they repeated the last game uh, between, I mean, not repeated, they swapped the factions between Zerael, I got now Wolves, and Aoi Howie got the Elves. And the score is 2, uh, two for, uh, for, uh, what for... is the players. What is the price for the starting for me? Uh... It's gonna be decided by the. I did not pay attention for that. It's not uh, given by me. It's given by uh, Marabou, the French uh, organizer for this tournament. I'm gonna ask him uh, after, and we will see. Look at this big push from Zera. Oh, That's... it's gonna be hot now. With this, when he gets siege hammers, imagine. Yeah. Siege hammers on them. 
Teach Helmet well, costs... Me, why nobody buys Teach Helmets nowadays? It's, uh, I think, because it's expensive. 250 it costs upgrading it on each uh, unit. And 250 is a cost of a battalion of dwarves, almost. Oh boy, this is gonna be painful now for Avi. As long as you keep your battle wagons alive, all of your dwarven army, in my opinion, is not gonna die. Look to see, they are destroying the steeple and the barracks in a few seconds. I wanna bond yeah. them down. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Just aim to the battle wagon with your fortress. What the heck? Yeah, he killed one of the guard, uh, battle wagons. But oh. it's, it's, it's over or not? Uh, Pretty Awe has 700 command point while Zerael has 400 command point. So we oh my. Okay. okay, then never mind. <laughs> Awe has 750 command point. He can buy a hero. He has 1400 resources and he got himself another builder. Arby, what are you doing for what are you doing right now? Are you still studying or are you working? What are you doing? I'm just uh, studying. What the heck? When, when are you gonna start working at 55? No, I yeah, think... I already was working. You're working and studying, Irby? I'm actually just um, five hours um, a day from Monday to Friday. That's all I do for work. Okay, is that a part-time job? Mm, not, uh, not, um, like, it's like normal, but it's just five hours. I have a question, like, what is the average income in Slovenia? So when you are working and you have, like, a not a special job, you are working, what's the average? Not the minimum, not the highest, but, like, an average salary, you know? Before or after the government takes uh, taxes. I mean, what you get before, to your bank, after. what you get to oh, your yeah, bank. Yeah. Um, uh, like medium, I don't know. Like, yeah, not, not, like average, like, yeah, let's see, if, is it less or more than 2k? Less than 2, 2k. Slovenia, Slovenia is not a uh, uh, main... Like, if you... I, I think it's like 1,400, I think. Like what you get from 1,500, something like that. Or it's, medium, not, it's, not, it's not too bad. It's okay. Yeah, it's good for Slo Slovenia. And you can make with that good life. Of course, man. Like when it, it, the people don't understand, you know, they are like always focusing on the salary part, but they don't understand the expenses. Like when you are earning 10k a month, but you have 